Welcome to the Writer Reads Flash Fiction episode 51. This one takes us from urban fantasy right up to science fiction, uh, and we're once again back in the Medillo. It's titled Meet the Medillo Range. I live alone at the edge of the woods. I live away from the colony, the people, the safety, and the strife. But I visit once a month for supplies. When I leave the town, it's with many a backward glance just to make sure no one follows. I live up and away from the swamp, but you can't tell me the Medillo Rangers are any less hazardous. Not after the predators I saw appear when the cactuli bloomed. Broad-snouted gravelar, sharp-faced voxen, sinuous hagaloo. I hadn't known they existed until the dawn the cactuli released their spores. And that leads to my next dilemma. The xenozoologists want to come and study in the hills, and they thought my outpost the safest place to set up shop. They're right, but I'm used to being on my own. In the end, the choice isn't mine to make. When the colonist council says, have guests, you have guests, I could do with the help expanding my compound anyway. Within two months, there is a lab, a samples unit, some animal enclosures, and my garden has increased. They've also strengthened the outpost walls and installed a handful of security guards. After the first Mancaresh swarm, with its entourage of Gravelar, Voxen and Hagaloo, I'm kind of glad they came. What can I say, except that the Medillo Range is as dangerous as the swamp at its feet? Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed today's piece, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you again. See you around.